Overcoming big obstacles while taking even bigger risks. That's how one Roanoke man has lived his entire life as a street performer. As he says, it was art and good influences that helped him defeat his biggest obstacle. 10 News anchor Jaffany Gray introduces us to Jefferson Rose, who has now dedicated his life to helping other aspiring artists and performers in the Deep Blue Ridge. People uh, are invited to a party that they didn't know was going on, so it's, a, it's really an honor and a privilege to make people laugh, smile, and minorly disgusted. If you're ever walking along Market Street, you may see 30-year-old street performer Jefferson Rose. I choose to do it on the street because I like to meet people where they are. <laughs> That's so good. It doesn't matter to me if you're rich, poor, or homeless. And art's for everybody. From hammering nails into his face to fire-eating acts to lying on a bed of nails while giving onlookers a hint of comedy. <laughs> I'm a professionally trained idiot. Jefferson says it's more than just shock value. Yep. There we go. That was it. It's grit and determination. It encourages people to uh, do things that they maybe didn't think they could do before. Not what I do, because that's dangerous. Street performing is a passion that exploded inside Jefferson when he was a little boy going to Renaissance festivals with his parents. And that's just the moment that I knew that that's, that's what I wanted. He made it his mission to make these kind of acts a career, despite the injuries. I was uh, snapping my tongue in a mouse trap, and I got the angle wrong, and I broke my front two teeth. And despite the financial struggle. Stopping people on the street here is a little more difficult, but when they have the chance to stop and experience something raw and interesting that everyone's invited to, they really respond to it. Freaky. <laughs> These were not the only obstacles Jefferson had to overcome. In his late teens, he had a substance abuse problem. Being able to focus on the art itself um, has helped me be healthy for the last nine years, yeah. Now Jefferson is a full-time street performer and the co-founder of Alternative Arts, Inc. It's a nonprofit that puts on variety acts events throughout the year, like the 2022 Street Performer Expo. Well, we use those events and some other ones that we're working on to fund free arts education for uh, children, young adults, and uh, people of all ages. For arts we find are underrepresented in this community and the surrounding area. Watch. It goes right through. Jefferson says he hopes his story encourages others to never be afraid to take risks and to surround yourself with positive influences in life. Given the choice between good luck and good friends, choosing good friends every time. You see that magician out on Market Street, ask him out on a date. These things are achievable. High five. High five. High five. To read Jefferson's full story and to see how you can get involved with his nonprofit, you can visit this story on our website. Also, if you have a story that you would like to share or if you know someone with a story, contact me directly by phone, email, or social media. All of that contact information can also be found at our website at WSLS.com. For the Deep Blue Ridge, I'm Jaffney Gray, 10 News, working for you.